everyone, I'm Destroy America, and today we're going to be reviewing a Serpentine Punk outfit from Punk Rave Australia. Before we get into it though, if you could subscribe to one or both of our channels, that would be really appreciated. And also I have to let you know that everything today was sent to me as a gift, but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. Alright, so this is the first item for today. It's the Punk Off The Shoulder Cobweb Serpent Print Top in green, and I'm going to be trying the extra small to small size. And now if we look at the description, our women's punk off the shoulder cobweb serpent top green is made from green python serpent print and velvet cobweb printed fabrics off the shoulder design long sleeves with half cut finger cuffs and thumb hole uh, colors are black or green so let's have a look at these pictures um, I love this headpiece that she's got by the way just as a side note but yeah so you can see the top here and it is a little bit see-through um, and I don't have like a cute little bra like she does there so it's gonna look a little bit different on me with what I've got but we'll do our best with it and here's without the model you can see what's going on there like it's got that really cool yeah snake like pattern and I don't really have anything like this so caught my eye straight away here we are with the finger holes um, which is quite different um, and you can see the seam and oh, close up of the fabric and yeah so this here is the overall outfit that we're going for today and just like yeah it's really interesting and the accessories are really exciting so we'll get to them in a moment um, oh I forgot to show you here's the uh, yeah, here's the size chart. Um, so they always have size charts in with all the pictures at the end so you can work out your measurements. They do vary from item to item, so just check with each one. But yeah, I tend to be that small size. But let's look at the next one because this is the black version. And as you can see, it is not a serpent print. It's actually a cobweb print. Um, and so if that's more your thing, you can go for it. Um, for me, I'm like, no, I, I prefer that spy, uh, that um, serpent print to the spiderweb thing because I do already have stuff that has more of a spiderweb look. And, you know, if you get too much of it, you sort of end up with that more Halloween kind of look. But yeah, and here's a different outfit if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, I prefer the green, but black might be more your style and maybe you are into more of those cobwebs. Anyway, moving on, we've got the pants, and so these are the Gothic Dark Fringe Flared Pants, and they're in individual sizes rather than combined sizes, so I'm the small. And down in the description, now this is a brand new item, they actually had to make them public so that I could do this part of the review, they've only just gone live as I'm filming, so yeah. Um, in the description, our women's gothic dark fringe flared pants are made from semi-opaque dark grain abstract jacquard mesh fabric and diamond mesh. The elastic waistband is made from printed python textured rubber. The pants are semi-opaque with defined bell-bottom hemline. Diamond mesh side panels creates a flared look. Regular plus size available. And yeah, so it does have a little bit of a snake-like thing going on there. It's not quite as serpentine, but there are aspects of it that I think fit really nicely with the top as a matching set. And I love that flare. Like, I I used to love flares when I was younger. I was so sad when they went out of fashion, made it so hard to find things. And then this this open panel here, I think it's really cool. So, yeah. But this is another one that's a little bit see-through. Um, thankfully, I do have black pounder pants to go under there. But whether or not I feel comfortable and maybe want to put something else, I'm not sure. But yeah, no, look at this. Um, that sort of... It's like scale like the way that they've done that waistband, which I like. And then yeah, ah, oh, these mesh, like it's gonna be good in summer as well. Maybe not full summer, but like early summer, which we're heading up to in Sydney at the moment. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, so you can see slightly different size chart there. All right, moving on to some accessories. The first one is the Punk Skeleton Bones Corset. And unfortunately it's out of stock at the moment, um, but if you put your name in this uh, box here and your email address they'll let you know when it comes back in so that's good uh, in the description our women's punk skeleton bones corset is made from bright pattern I'm not sure if that's meant to be patterned or if it's like a particular type. I'm, I don't know fabrics very well. Um, but it's made from bright pattern PU leather and high grade hardware. Tight fitting version with high quality steel eyelet buckle center front and adjustable drawstring roping on back for ease of size and fit. Skeleton bones design highlights the waistline. High grade metal corns and sharp cone nails adds punk aesthetic. Drawstring roping with embossed skull and weights. Fully adjustable three sizes available. 
and yeah so I'm pretty excited I, I love all the little accessories um, but yeah this one's really different like I've got corsets and things but none of them have these open like you know real rib cage kind of look um, and so yeah like we've seen it on the other outfit but this is a different way to wear it and you can see it those are actually spikes on the front um, which I love I love myself some spikes and then we've got how they're tied up and you can see here you know at the bottom like with most corsets they just leave the roping dangling but they've actually got some extra detail um, I think that's what they're talking about in the description um, so yeah I'm pretty excited about that they always put so many details look here you can see the spikes even better and then yeah those decorations at the end of the drawstrings oh I love the little details so yeah close up of the spikes and the way that it all goes together and the roping um, yeah, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> See, they've actually got the little skull and crossbones, like the extra detail. I love that about these products. So here's one idea of how you can wear it. And of course, the one that we're trying today and the size chart. Um, so I think if there's three sizes available, it might actually be combined sizes, um, in which case you read across two, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, so yeah just like you know if it does come back in stock you'll see that drop down with what the sizes are and now the last accessory um adjustable punk harness skirt and so i'll be doing extra small to small and in the description our women's adjustable punk harness skirt is made from soft and supple glossy pattern leather fabric stitched with bottom velvet ribbon and high grade metal hardware adjustable harness skirt design high grade metal o-rings populate the harness enhancing the punk aesthetic fully adjustable with multiple belt buckle straps either side detachable chain links can be worn front or back three sizes available so yeah I, I love things that can be customized so this is like a perfect example and very interesting like I've I mean maybe I'm just not aware of these kinds of things but I've not seen a skirt kind of thing done like this before personally so for me it's very different and you know just an extra thing to add over that and you can you can obviously put all these accessories on different outfits which I think you know the whole mix and match possibilities are great and look at the little chains they're cute and I love the way that these buckles sort of point off the sides instead of just like being flat against you. And it just looks really good with this whole outfit. Um, and so we can see just without the pants, it's a bit easier to see like all the details there and the sides. And then here like so around the bum, it's kind of open. And what I'm guessing that's for is so that when you sit down, you're not sitting on the, on the straps, which can be kind of annoying. Like you've actually got some empty space for your bum to be able to sit down. I think that's what's going on there. And if that's intentional, like that's an amazing design choice. Um, of course, we'll see how it fits on me. It may not operate that way. Here's the O-ring, um, some chains and yeah, just all these adjustable little things. So yeah, and here, oh, here, the, this one, um, this is like the combined size chart, and so they've highlighted exactly which ones they are, so you know, um, which is really helpful. All right, so here's the package from China. Um, it was sent by EMS, which is a bit different to the DHL service, and it did take a little bit longer. Um, to get to me, it took about 22 days, but keep in mind there's been a lot of COVID disruptions, especially it was sent through the middle of August when there was like some real disruptions going on. So keep in mind, it took a while, but that might not be representative of how long it normally takes. Also, you may have noticed that this is a really big package. It's actually quite heavy. And that's because we've got some extra items for some future reviews that we're gonna be doing. So not everything in here is for today. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. All right, so inside that first package, we've got the Punk Rave package, and we've seen this before coming from China. I think you only really get this sort of a satchel if it's coming from China, and it's got some cute little messages on it. As we've seen previously, this is one of their slogans. And then on the back, they've got a thank you to the delivery people, which, yeah, I think is really cute because it is the delivery people who are keeping things moving at the moment, so I really appreciate that. Although, because it was in that bigger satchel, the delivery people won't have seen it, which is a little bit sad, but I appreciate the thought. My gosh, everything's always so well taped up, but we'll figure out how to open it in just a sec. So as you can see, they've managed to fit a lot in the package. Um, it's always nice to receive something nice and full like this, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and find the ones that are just for today and we'll save the others for later. So just give me a moment on that. And here we are. <laughs> so let's open the top first. 
Oh, the fabric feels so thin and delicate. Interestingly, this one didn't have a silica packet, it's just got the tissue paper. Usually they do have silica gel packets though, so keep an eye out for them when you're unpacking. Alright, wow, yeah, the first thing you notice when you're unpacking this is just how thin the material is. But it's also really smooth and it feels really nice, and I'm genuinely surprised because when I've seen things like this before, they haven't felt like this, like, it feels comfortable. I don't know, like, maybe I've just had really bad experiences with clothes in the past, but Punk Grove Australia really choose their fabrics well, like, like they, like they can read my mind and they've chosen it for me. And so yeah, it is a little bit see-through, but not in a huge way. Um, I'm still gonna want to wear, you know, like a small black top underneath it, or if you've got a nice little black bra. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not super see-through, it's like that in-between. And I really do love that snake print pattern. Now up the top, as you can see, there is this sort of trimming. If I just turn that around for you, you can see, um, where it connects to that snake print fabric, it's a thicker sort of black there, but then it turns into this. It's sort of like a, a slightly elastic kind of thing with all that mesh kind of look, but without being flimsy. Ooh, and the main fabric is super stretchy. And then with this seam at the bottom edge, you can see they've actually used a green thread to match the fabric so that it doesn't stand out too much. And then of course you've got the sleeves and at the bottom you can see the little finger holes and now they're not finished in any particular way so you can see a few of those loose threads um, but you know it's a punk style so I actually don't mind that I think that fits like you know when when you're trying to DIY a punk thing and if you had like I used to do I used to do the stockings thing and you just cut little finger holes and put your hand in it it reminds me of that more you know DIY kind of vibe but it's still more polished than the whole DIY thing because as you can see there's actual finger before it's cut off it's not just like you know me poking holes into some old stockings and then something I really like is that with that fabric pattern like it's actually properly centered like you know sometimes you buy something with a fabric pattern but they don't really care about how it's placed within the garment so sometimes like a flower design might be here on one version or it might be there on another version and so you're a bit like if I buy that is it gonna look exactly how I think it is here though, Punk Rave Australia, it looks exactly how I was expecting, like, you know, it's actually got that middle of the snake pattern centered, so I'm really happy with that. Next up, let's look at the pants! Alright, so this one does have a silica packet, so it might just be the particular fabric that the top's made out of, so yeah, watch out for those, you don't want like your pets or anything <laughs> getting them by accident. Oh my god, I love the fabric on this one too, straight away! And it has that new clothes smell. Wow, these are really cool, I, you know, I knew it was gonna be a sort of transparent fabric, but it has that same thin feeling, so these might actually be better for summer than I was expecting. Alright, let's start at the top, so as you can see, that is that elastic, it's very stretchy, and it's got that scale look, and they kind of like like shiny and they're also raised above the surface so it's not just like a pattern it's actually like printed on in some kind of a way I'm not really sure how to describe it exactly but like you can run your finger on it and you can actually feel some of the little bumps but yeah I love that they're shiny it sort of emphasizes that snake skin kind of look and then you can see the main fabric of the pants and how that pattern is kind of shiny um, now in the lighting in here it looks darker than it did on the website um, and it actually you can see those patterns a little bit better on the camera than I can in real life it's that's an interesting effect. As for how that fabric feels, so it's thin in a similar way to the top and so I think that makes them match like in terms of fabric not just in the design of it. And then with those shiny bits you can slightly feel the difference. Also overall I'd say it's probably not exactly the same fabric as the top but it's very similar. And yeah it just feels really nice like I'm not sure what it reminds me of but it is nice and smooth and airy and light. And then of course we come down to that sort of more open mesh panel and it feels really nice too like it's a very soft kind of mesh. It's not hard, you can scrunch it up and it feels really nice on the skin. It's a little bit less smooth and silky compared to the other fabric, but yeah, it's a really nice choice they've got there. And then if you have a look at the shape of the pants, right, as you get further and further to the bottom, <laughs> look how big that flare is, oh my goodness. And then both the main fabric and that mesh fabric have a good amount of stretch in them, so you don't really need that towards the bottom end, but if you're worried about legs and all that, there's a decent amount of stretch. Wow, can't wait to try these on! Next up, let's look at the corset! This one has bubble wrap! If you guys watch my vlog channel, you know that I love bubble wrap! Also, it's more of this! Wow, it's so shiny and spiky! Yeah, so it really has that shiny black, you know, sort of catsuit kind of fabric look. Up the front, so you can see they've put this elastic over here, and I think that might be to try and keep it closed while it's in transit, or I'm not really sure the purpose, but I'm sure it's got something to do with protecting it while it's in transit. Ah, so if we open that up, these little things 
Can you see that shape there? It's sort of got like a little square bit on the end, um, which is a little bit different to the ones that I've had in the past. And when I was opening it, it actually felt a lot more secure than like, you know, I do have a few core sets and they're really good, but um, something about the way that they've designed this, it feels a bit more secure in the way that it connects. Not that I've ever really had a problem with one opening randomly because like once you've got it on and you tighten it up, it kind of just stays there. But yeah, that's, it's interesting that they've added that extra sort of security feature. And then those are the things that connect into them. And oh my God, I really do love these spikes and what's also really nice is in the little label thing they've actually given you a spare spike which um you know like usually you might get spare buttons or something but that the fact that they've added a spare spike i actually really appreciate because a long time ago one of my favorite um spiked collars did lose a thing and i'm just like what do I do with this now? I don't know where to get one that matches. So they've actually provided you with one just in case. Not that I think you're going to need it though, because I've just wiggled them all and they're all really securely in there. So I'd be very surprised. But, you know, as you're moving around and things are sort of shuffling around, uh, I guess over time they could loosen, but they, they feel really solid. Like I've had other ones where you can like, turn the spikes in the thing and these ones like I can't even turn them so they've done it really well and they give you a spare that's like really considerate and then of course you can see this detail that sort of skeleton rib cage look and then all these decorative eyelets here so you can see they're metal and as I play with them I can feel that they're also really solidly put in there and then on the back side so they could have just made this one panel but they've actually made it into you know there's a couple of panels in there for that extra detail like they could have just made it solid flat but no they've added that extra in there and then we have the roping at the back and it's a sort of thick sturdy rope but without being abrasive or rough and then we've got the little skull and crossbones thing and as I tap them together I think they might actually be made out of metal because yeah you get a good click out of that I don't know I don't know how to tell what things are made out of um they're not too heavy though so like you know you can imagine tying something up if it was really heavy it might undo it if you didn't do a strong enough knot at the back but yeah no those actually feel like a good weight to be decorative without you know like compromising anything about it and I think it's really interesting that they have the double rope thing going on like you know most of these things they just have a single rope and then it ends um but yeah with that double rope i don't know it just sort of thickens it up a bit more and makes it different to other corsets all right now on the inside as you can see um most of these details are still that shiny leathery look and i guess what's important about that is like in my opinion i wouldn't wear this on bare skin i mean obviously with the spikes and stuff like it's really designed to be out of wear but i can imagine some people might want to do it that way um and i would just say yeah i don't think that's how it's designed i mean i I know some people are into that you know catsuit latex kind of look I'm not personally um, but another thing is you can also see the other side of the metal spikes um, they are metal there so if you have any like metal allergies that would be another reason to use it as outerwear over the top of something but in that big panel they do have a lining there so it's not this sort of stickier kind of fabric where it's harder to move your finger across like it's this really smooth kind of thing so you know if you were gonna wear it like that I guess that would help they also have these little flaps here so that you're not getting that rope directly onto you it does have a little bit of a thing just for those edge bits but obviously if you open it up some more you will see some skin through that middle bit my gosh I just opened it up like this and my brain was like oh my god alien face hugger it kind of has that vibe doesn't it now, I don't usually wear things with this sort of shiny black and white but I actually really like the design of this and like especially that skeleton kind of vibe and I think it's gonna go really well with the rest of the items and I also can't wait to like start mixing and matching with the rest of my wardrobe all right now the last one let's go on to the skirt there's actually a couple of items I'm going to be reviewing later that they've chucked in there. I was out of the ordinary, but we'll have a look at them in a future review. Oh my gosh, this is a little bit heavier than I was expecting. Look at all that tissue paper. One of these. Wow. <laughs> my brain can't work out which way is up. Okay, I think I've got it. I, I think this is one of those ones that like will make more sense once I actually put it on and have it all adjusted. And then yeah, they put the chains on what I think is the bottom um, and they're not crisscrossing like they were on the website pick. So you really can adjust those chains. And I mean, you could even take off those chains and wear them on a completely different outfit like if you wanted to there's so much you could do with that but yeah I was trying to use them to sort of orient myself on where where things go in this and so yeah no but they're just connected at the bottom there so something I noticed right away is like yes this is a similar sort of shiny um, leathery kind of look to the corset but it's actually quite a different feel so on the corset the black leathery fabric it's like more it's, it's stiffer and that makes sense right because it's a corset it's involved in shaping and it's tight and it has to be that particular shape with this though as you can see it's actually really flexible which is quite different and I think that makes sense because you know like it's a skirt you still need to be able to walk in it it's not meant to like restrict your movement it's meant to sort of 
just go with you. So yeah, I can feel that this shiny leathery kind of fabric, it does feel different and it's probably made out of something slightly different. But also on the other side, it's actually this fluffy velvety kind of look. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, it's this sort of velvety feeling kind of fabric, a little bit furry and yeah, quite different. You notice it straight away when you take it out. As for some of these metallic details, it's a little bit hard to tell if it's just my lighting, but I think you know, those silver silver buckles and o-rings and um, the little eyelets, like, yes, they're silver, but I think they're a dark silver, which I think is really nice, because, like, I mean, I never really paid attention to the different kinds of silvers there are, but I think the dark silver goes much nicer with that gothic punk kind of aesthetic, and it doesn't draw too much attention to itself. Like, can you imagine if they were a lighter silver and you've got all this black? It would make them stand out more, whereas, you know, the straps are actually part of a feature like it's not just the o-rings that you're focused on so i think that color choice like it avoids taking away from the rest of the item and it's the same thing with these chains like i can see that they're picking up a little bit more light um and reflecting them at the camera but those are dark silver chains they're not bright silver chains and um yeah and it sort of gives it a moodier feeling which i really like and yeah they feel really strong like they're easy to take off but they also feel solid um you know if you've ever had one of those that was kind of weak and kept falling off no this feels a lot better than that and you know looking at these chains i remember when i first started out with like dark alternative fashion i was trying to DIY stuff I would just go to like the two dollar shop and buy um, some really cheap dog chains like you know you put on the dog and I put like you know safety pins and all that but that was that bright silver and so now when I look at this I'm like oh that's what I wanted probably more than those like there's a place for bright silver but I actually really really like this and the fact that I can wear it not just on this but on other stuff I'm super excited about that you guys know I love customization oh my god speaking of customization and adjustments so um at these buckles you know where you've got these little extra bits um they do have these little loops to hold it down so if you have to do it tight like if you're very small and you have to do the adjustments tighter um you can be assured that an amount of it will be held down. You're not just going to have these huge flyaways that sometimes happen when you tighten things a lot. So yeah, they've put that in there for you. I think this one's going to be the trickiest one for me to put on though because I've got to get my head around exactly what's going where. Oh, and I just noticed one that's not a buckle. It's like just a sliding kind of one. Um, I think that's for one of the, the loops that go at the back of your leg. Um, so that's really interesting. But when I just sort of pull on it, like it feels really solid, even without the little buckle to hold it in there um, and the little eyelets. Like like once you adjust it, it feels pretty solid. So yeah, they do things really well. I'm really impressed with that. Like, wow. All right, so that's my first impressions of all the items for today. I'm gonna go and put them on and we'll do some twirls and then afterwards we'll have a chat about it. All right, so I've got the outfit on and I'm gonna do some twirls for you. I'll do with and without the accessories. Um, now, as usual, I'm gonna put my measurements and the items measurements in the corner so you can keep an eye on them and compare. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I think this is like one of my favorite ones that I've tried from Punk Rave Australia because it's so interesting and it looks so cool and it inspired me to put on all the bling. But before I get carried away with my excitement, let's go through the details one by one and we'll start off with size. Now I've got to say overall, everything as usual with Punk Rave Australia, the size is absolutely perfect for me. I think if we start with the top, that's the simplest one to talk about with size because there's absolutely no issues for me. Everything fit right down to these little finger holes. Um, nothing really feels like it's stretching or pulling on me. So yeah, it worked out really nicely. Now with the pants, again, they fit me really nicely. They feel really good. The size is great. But one thing to note is that they are a little bit long and there are two ways that you can handle that. In my case, because they're not too long, um, what I did is like they're kind of stretchy. And so the way that they hug the upper part of your leg, you can sort of 
pull them up a little bit and they don't really bunch too much. Um, it just helps lift that flare a little bit up off your off the bottom of your foot so that, um, yeah, it just sort of like hugs your body and you can pull it up a little bit and cheat that way to stop it from hitting the floor. I hope that makes sense, but by doing that I was able to get away with wearing just my regular sport shoes. But if you are a little bit shorter, I think what you could do is wear some shoes that have a little bit more of a platform. You probably don't need too much, but yeah, I think that would give you just a little bit of extra height to just bring them off the ground so that they don't drag and they're not catching the dirt and all that as you're walking around and you also reduce your chances of like you know accidentally stepping on something and maybe tripping. Speaking of shoes I really do need to get myself some more because like whenever anything is long my go-to tends to be my big platform boots that you've seen a few times and they're really great I love them but they don't suit everything because like you know with these platform things right you don't really want them going over massive boots so like it would be nice for me to get some small shoes with a little bit of a platform but that's a problem for future me. But yeah, so the pants are a little bit long, but they're not as long as some other things I've tried, like I've tried a dress and a cloak that I definitely had to wear platforms for. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you check out my height versus the size chart height, and that might give you a little bit of an idea of how you might compare. Obviously, if you're a different size to me, just sort of like make those adjustments to suit you and what, what category you fit into, and I think you'll do well with that. As for the corset, no issues there because it is so adjustable. And uh, so that was an extra small to small size and I usually fit into the small category so I'm on the larger end of what fits in this and you'll notice that I did pull it apart a little bit and you can see through some of the fabric there and um, I actually like that like it's nice to have something like that because I do have like some other corsets and the roping because like I'm on the small end of the scale for those items like there's just so much rope and it's a little bit too much and it's just flying everywhere whereas with this I was able to do a smaller bow so that those little skull things are actually further up on my back maybe able to to see it a little bit better and also like when I sit down I'm not sitting on all the roping so that worked out really nicely for me and I'm really happy with it and then just with the sizing in general and the way it fits my body I was really happy with that it's like it feels nice and snug that proper corset kind of feel so yeah I'm really happy with that and then with the skirt so of course the size for that was really good because it is so adjustable there's so many things that you can play with to get your size right perhaps one thing to note though is like there is a little bit of a compromise between how much you're able to move and the actual look of it so when I put it on just with all the loose settings and I got that sort of waistband tight so that it would stay up and not fall down um, Then looking at the straps around the bottom area around where your legs go um, That's where I had to make a few decisions because as it was it looked a little bit floppy And if you really want to get that harnessy kind of look you do need to tighten it The trade-off for that though is the tighter that you go because it is around the top part of your legs It does restrict your movement a little so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it because I don't want to change my camera angle too much but you can see like lifting this up, lifting up my leg like this, it is getting a little bit tight here because of the way that I've tightened it. And so when you're going up a lot of stairs or, um, you know, I because of the way that I've set things up, I do have things to walk over. Um, that got a little bit awkward. But what I found was easy to do to handle that is like if I am going to be making big leg movements, I just pull it up a little bit because the straps are so soft that you can just pull them. It's not like the corset where everything is in its set place. Like you do have some flexibility and as long as you don't do them too tight and you can still get them a little bit up towards your hips like that's one way to handle it I will say for the purposes of modeling it for this video I probably went on the tight side um, if I was going to be out and about like you know you could easily make a quick adjustment so if you are doing a lot of walking you can loosen it and that'll make it easier for you, you to move but if you're mostly stationary you're not moving too much like maybe you're at the pub or something and you're having a drink and you're just kind of standing around then you could tighten it and really go for that that harnessy look instead of having them kind of flopping around you. So yeah, the size is good. It's just like there is a compromise between getting your size right and getting the look right and that mobility issue there. So that's an overview of the size. Um, if we talk about the fabric now, as I said when I was unpacking everything, uh, it all feels really nice. I mean, the main things to talk about really are the top and the pants because they're the ones contacting my skin. Uh, I will say when I was putting on the pants, it, I did have this moment of, oh, that feels a little bit odd, um, which I've had before in the past with clothes. But like once it's actually on, it feels so good. And especially this top, like whatever they've made it out of, I really like that feeling and it feels really nice. And also today is a warm day in Sydney and I feel like, I feel really comfortable. Like we're not in the middle of summer, thank God. Um, it's sort of that changeover in spring. And this just feels really nice for this. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we're still in lockdown. Down, but like I would go out like this if I if I had places to go it's really nice I really like this and so if you're into this one or the cobweb version like yeah I think
think this is really good and if you consider that I mean we might not get to Halloween I don't know cross fingers we actually get to the numbers but um uh I think like if you are looking for something for Halloween like that this would also be a good option just because like it feels good for the weather like if you're in the northern hemisphere it might be a bit cold but for us here in the southern hemisphere down under I think this is the perfect kind of like fabric and feel and yeah just the the lightness of it that's just coincidence with the timing of our weather and halloween here though um i would just wear this like i, I want to go out now wearing this do i have time i'm not sure you know take my dog for a walk all dressed up like this i live in a conservative area so that would be fun anyway so the fabric is really nice and also particularly with the pants the flare i really like that like walking around and you can feel the fabric going and it's just like yes these are really nice flares like i i've, I've had stuff that has thicker material and it's like yeah that's good but this has that flowy feel I really love that just realizing I should have done some kicks while I was doing those twirls um, without the skirt because yeah you, you could as you can see um, they're so stretchy that I have all the mobility to get up quite high so yeah they're really easy to move in and then I guess the next thing is exactly how I've worn it because you may have noticed some differences between me and the Punk Rave Australia model one of the obvious things besides like all my bling is um so this top is advertised as an off-the-shoulder sort of thing but I found that didn't really work for me like I've, I've we've had this before with me and off-the-shoulder things like it just it doesn't feel right and then when I put my arms out it just pops up anyway um and I actually prefer to wear it like that like this to me and the way that the elastic sort of holds into your shoulders for me it just feels odd like I'm not used to that sensation and um yeah my body just doesn't seem to go with that my body seems to be like no you're gonna wear them on your shoulders so that's what I've done um but it f actually sits like once it's here it sits really nice like it's really natural it's not it's not like it keeps going and going until it gets floppy no it, this is the actual natural fit for me and yeah I'm surprised to say that even though I'm not wearing it properly um it just works really nicely like the way that it just adapted to my body i'm actually really impressed with that and then of course the other thing is i've worn quite a large black singlet top underneath it i was going to wear a slightly smaller one that just has thinner straps but it's quite short and when i first put on the top um it does have that sort of crop top like you know you can see your belly button kind of thing and so i thought oh the way that it matched up with that top doesn't really work and then when I put the corset on it's not going to make sense so I put this singlet top, top on because it's longer and I could tuck it into my pants and then you know you don't have that awkward moment where there's like a sliver of stomach showing through and that was my justification for wearing this one um but what I found is when I did put the corset on and I pulled the top through it it actually stayed under there so like when I pulled this through it actually stayed whereas before before I put the corset on um the end of the top was around here and then oh maybe around there and then I just sort of pulled it and once you've got this on and tight it actually holds it there so I didn't need to worry about you know this is my singlet top underneath I didn't really need to worry about an awkward bit of skin showing up in through in one of these skeleton bits so yeah that was kind of an interesting thing that I discovered and so maybe next time I will try it with that smaller top and just see how it goes I mean I could have tried it today but I thought ah no I don't have enough time to film you know trying to film in lockdown is a bit tricky so I've just kept this on and we're gonna run with it but um yeah so there's like that kind of thing is I just didn't expect and I need to experiment a bit more to sort of get my style but of course another thing I should consider is just buying a small black bra because that's kind of how it's designed but I don't I don't dislike this style and you know I think it's me like I'm a little bit less out there in terms of showing skin and all that kind of stuff so yeah I think that worked in terms of making this outfit my style and then another thing you guys might have noticed in terms of me and modern um, with the pants right underneath them I chickened out of <laughs> wearing just my black underpants I actually borrowed some sports pants from my mum they're her gym pants and just put them underneath um, now the downside of them is I think the legs are just a little bit too long so they're showing a little bit too much like maybe I want to get myself my own kind of gym pants but like have them shorter shorts it's a little bit hard to show you without ruining my camera angle but um so her gym pants end about here which I think is just a little bit awkward like halfway down this leg section um, I think I want to find like some shorter gym pants that maybe end up a little bit, bit higher up here and I think that'll work for me although alternatively maybe when I'm going out I will just wear the black underpants and not be too worried about it uh, just like for the purposes of an internet video I don't need the internet comments going oh I can see your underpants like you know people are immature and I've already had some comment on Instagram where someone was like you know I was wearing my Lolita outfit with the skirt and they're wondering about my underpants and I'm just like 
come on, we don't need that. So there's some of my reasons for wearing it the way that I am. It's a little bit imperfect, but you know, you can still see how the outfit goes and that's something that I'm going to have to adjust. It's just, I wasn't able to go out to the shops because everything's closed here in Sydney. So that's something I'm going to be working on for the future with wearing this outfit and in particular the pants. And then another important thing. So with the corset, if you're someone who wears a lot of corset, you may have heard the sort of mantra that you do boots first, corset second. And that's because like when you've got a really stiff corset, it can become hard to bend over. Um, but with this one, like it's not a full, like full on boned corset. Um, it's a fashion corset, right? So it's not restricting you too much. Like it has a nice hug and it has that, that kind of corset feel, but it's not in a restrictive way. I think in terms of movement, it's really that front panel where everything hooks together that you feel the most um, resistance to movement but apart from that it's not too bad and if I need to put some shoes on it's actually the skirt <laughs> that's sort of getting in the way of movement um, just because of the way that I've done it tight around the legs so yeah the corset is not really a problem in terms of me leaning forward to be able to put on some shoes or some boots I mean I guess shoes with this particular outfit but if you were wearing it with a different thing and doing boots I think you'd be able to do that pretty easily but there was something that I was thinking while I was putting everything on should you put the skirt on first or should you put the corset on first um, I put the corset on first because I thought the skirt is going to be the tricky one I should do that last but while I was adjusting the skirt and I did have to lean forward um, so to note is this top little pointy bit did kind of like poke into my chest a little bit while I was doing things because you know I was so focused on that and like you know doing all this kind of stuff and leaning forward and all that so um yeah I was like oh actually maybe I should have put the skirt on first so like if you're worried about mobility and comfort and all that as you're putting things on maybe what you should do is shoes first then skirt then corset um but <laughs> I didn't do things in that order and I was fine, so there's not really any issues there. Hey, future me here. So something that I didn't think of while I was filming the video is because the skirt is so adjustable, you kind of could almost, like if you were wanting to play with this, you could turn it into a harness for the upper body. Now it's not perfect because as you can see um, with the back, it is a little bit loose and for those kinds of harness things you probably do want them to be um, a little tighter fitting but um, yeah that was just something interesting and if you were really determined to do the modification um, you might be able to make this work and like you know depending on your body shape as well um, yeah that's kind of fun like if you were determined obviously it doesn't really fit because it's designed to be a skirt but there's so much adjustability that you could almost pull it off like straight away without doing very much at all. All I did was tighten that back strap section. So yeah, that's some other fun things like if that's what you wanted to try and do with it. So I think those are the main details and I guess just like overall how it looks and feels. I'm I'm really excited. I really like this outfit and like there is some mobility like I can lift my arms fine and it's great like you know sometimes you get a fun outfit but it can be restrictive but I really like this. You know the serpentine kind of thing and then the flowiness of the legs. I really like that like walking around with that and having that that just sort of airy feeling and then I really love the look and like it just inspired me to add some extra spikes and things and I've got a little little dragon necklace and all that which like I haven't really felt inspired to accessorize a lot in a long time but I guess this outfit because it already has two accessories provided by Punk Rave Australia it just was like oh my god this is this is what I'm doing here and then yeah also the chains so I didn't wear the chains exactly like the model did I actually hooked it onto one of the little o-rings instead of doing it all at that belt sort of area and so I guess like you know playing with that is a little bit inspiring as well so I'm like yes let's do all the accessories but I think I also have a nostalgic kind of feel for this outfit because like I used to do a lot of um, sort of RPG writing you know back in the old internet days you know jumping on the computer and I just write stories with people overseas and like one set of characters I had were this sort of um, sort of snake people and so I'm like wow I mean it's not really how I described the characters but it really reminds me of that and yeah I'm just sort of feeling that vibe and then I like dragons and stuff so for me like you know the scaly look I'm I'm super excited like I don't usually wear a lot of color I tend to wear a lot of black most of my outfits are black but to have like this it's nice to have something different and then everything matches really nicely and yeah I'm just heaps inspired and excited by this outfit and I can't wait to have more places that I can go out in it. So that's everything I have to say about this outfit I think. Um, I'm really happy with it. I think I really think this might be one of my favorite 
outfits from Punk Rave Australia so far. Like it's a little bit different, but it's still in my style and it's got all these things to inspire me, which I really needed. I really needed some inspiration. So I'm really happy with it. The size is great. The, the customization options. I'm really happy with this fabric and, and the flares. I'm so excited to have nice flares again. Like I think I've only got one other set of pants and they're not a gothic style. And now I have that gothic punk flare style. I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I think I'm just really thrilled with this outfit and I'm so happy that Punk Rave Australia like one suggested it to me because it was so new most of these items were not on the website and I might never have noticed them if they hadn't said hey would you like to try this I'm like oh my god yes please send it to me and they did and I'm super grateful like thank you so much Punk Rave Australia for working with me and suggesting these things and yeah I guess like just bringing that dark creative vibe to my life especially like right now when I've been feeling a bit flat and I'm in lockdown and there's not a lot to do now if this video has inspired inspired you to buy any of the items today. It could be one, it could be many. Um, there will be a 20% off discount automatically applied at checkout so you don't need to remember any codes. It applies regardless of whether you buy one or two or all of the items. Um, however many you get, they'll each get a 20% off discount. And of course, if you did like this video, please do give the video a like. Um, share it with anyone who you think might be into this style and want to know more about it. Leave us a comment if you have any thoughts, like maybe about the style that we've got here today or a style you'd like to see me review in the future. And we'd also really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Um, you can either subscribe to my channel, Destroy America. I do a lot of vlogs as well as these fashion and sometimes like music and it's a little bit chaotic but it's it's just all the stuff that I do I guess. But there's also the Punk Rave Australia channel and that is just fashion and um, there's still a small channel and we're wanting to grow it a little bit so yeah if you're interested in that or know someone who is maybe you could suggest that they subscribe if they're interested in um, all the different fashion that we're reviewing. Either way thank you so much for watching this video and joining us again for another really cool outfit. Oh my god I'm so excited. And then as you've seen we've got so many other reviews coming up so definitely subscribe if you want to keep up with that um i guess i'll see you next time when we do a different kind of a punk style thanks for watching see you later guys